What's going on, Dwayne? Not much, man. How are you doing? We good. We good. Welcome to another episode of No Country for Attackers, guys. Episode 12. Episode 12, man. Episode 12. Still going. Boy, man. Uh, I think we're at that point we should ask for money now. So... You know, you could donate through Anchor. I mean, no one's going to do it, but, you know, it, the link is yeah. Donate. <laughs> support? Is it support the podcast? Oh, does it? I need to check that out. Because I've, I've never looked at it from the listener side. Oh, you just go straight in? Yeah, I go straight into the admin and I listen to it there. Mm-hmm. And then I look at all the stats and stuff. But maybe I should check out the listener side. <laughs> Not bad. It's not bad for real, man. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah, man. Episode 12. We're still going. This is cool. Um, lots of new stuff happening. It's pretty okay. dope. We're gonna cover we're gonna cover that. We're gonna cover all that stuff, man. It's you know, you got your your stuff on your end. We're gonna preview that and everything. But today. We're going back a little bit in time to cover an anime called Golden Boy. Golden Boy. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, that intro is fire. Yo, that intro. I'm going to be real, bro. The intro is like almost, uh, it's like five out of five. (laughs) Yup. <laughs> you know, I've like never seen a guy so hyped to ride a bike. Like puts the glasses on to shake. And then they show the bike. And no. uh, it reminded me, man. It's crazy because like I started watching it. And uh, it, it reminded me of like some old anime that I used to watch. Like, uh, but you, you, you didn't really dig it too much with GTO. Uh-huh. Great teacher. What? Oh, Izuka. Izuka. And then there was this one that I, I watched recently, but there's so many episodes near Night Runner. <laughs> I haven't seen that. Is it good? It's cool. It's goofy. Like, you know, okay. it's, it was like, it was pretty much this character stuff, but like, oh. but he's like a genius uh, bodyguard type guy. Uh-huh. But there, there's so many episodes. It's been running for a while and it, I haven't gotten anywhere near to the end because the first season is like 50 episodes. Then, uh, it? And then the second one is like four. Dude, there's a lot of episodes. So I'm working. Is it on Funimation? Mm, no, I think. Well, I'm, I'm watching it on Crunchyroll. I'm gonna have to search for it. Yeah, you, you should be able to find it online. It's old. It's done. It, it ended at like ninety three. <laughs> you say that, but you know how it is. UK, we don't give you anything good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be like that. All right, it's true. All right, so let's uh, let's kick this off. I'm gonna share the screen. All right. <laughs> you see all the women? All right, bro. So go ahead and give your uh, summary on the move, on the show, bro. Oh, man. All right. First off, before we even jump in, huge disclaimer. This anime is not for women. I'm sorry. Well, unless you're into... Huh? I said, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah it's, movie, man. it's for everybody except kids. Definitely not. Yeah, don't don't show your kids. It's 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 at that level where it's like, yeah, you are pretty much Goblin Slayer, fully. <laughs> <laughs> it is it pretty much what Goblin Slayer was trying to do, while still being watered down. I don't know how to get that one do, but anyway, yeah. So, Golden Boy, man, Golden Boy tells a story about <sighs> Kintaro, uh, Kintaro Oe. I can never pronounce his name properly. Kentaro Oe, a 25-year-old boy who is a master of life. Like, he literally studies life. So he jumps on in his, the mock, the mock 25 bike that you see him on in that, in that picture. And he rides all around Japan doing odd jobs and learning from everyone. You know what? I, um, I gotta say, I, I envy him. <laughs> Every I do. I'm, I'm, I mean, I would. Like, I would happily 
because too, that's one of the, the documentaries that I want to do where I travel to different dojos and I, I um, do like a training with them and stuff like that. And then I interview them talking about how martial arts could help um, chronic illnesses and chronic conditions and stuff like that. And then I challenge them. Like, that's, I think that's the only reason I do martial arts. So I could be competent enough to walk in the dojo and be like, I'm taking your goddamn sign. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Master. Walk in walk in with my own like low flag with some with some kanji on it. But no, like it was yeah, so he, he goes around and in his quest to learn more about the world, he encounters all these beautiful women that you see. And oh man, you're missing one. One, two, three, four, five. You missing the no, that's a student. Her was there only five? No, there was six. The plant girl, the flower girl. The flower girl, I couldn't find a picture. She ain't, she ain't really important. But <laughs> yeah. you know, so um, like this if you uh let's see. If you go rank them, she, she the the artist girl's uh she's pretty good too. She's a she's a good girl. Yeah. That motorbike, motorbike, motorbike. Oh my god! Okay, so yeah, so he's going around. He's riding. Uh, he takes odd jobs and stuff, uh, and it's pretty much he's doing it for educational person. Pers- yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't really charge. He well, he sometimes works for money because when he did the flower girl one, he was getting paid. Yeah. Um, but his okay. This is why we say it's not for women. His pervertedness is so strong that it always lands him in a position where he has to work for free, <laughs> just to just to get the approval of the people. <laughs> like, the um, toilets, yo. huh? He carries his toilets. Yeah, boy. That yo. is a weird one, dude. Like he's just looking at she. He's like, but that means she sits. She sits. Oh, <laughs> uh, my queen is playing cheese on the throne. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> is is so oh man, but but um, man, I, I if you want a good laugh, if you wanna if you, that's it. Is is slap Joe? Is it, literally looking at the the hormones and the thoughts that guys have and amplifying it to like maximum. <laughs> And just like no holds barred, like. But if you want a really, really good laugh from yeah. beginning to end, yeah. Like, I think I think it's because of this anime that I actually coined the term. Oh, this is so educational. <laughs> and people look at me like, "What?" So educational. Like, yeah. But yeah, man, it was it was great. What did you just think of it? Uh, yeah, I, honestly, when I first started, cause I, 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 honestly, I never watched it. So this, this type, this oh, type, I didn't watch it when it first came out. Obviously, I thought you did. Nah, I just I knew of it because I remember uh, I had someone had brought it up and I real I checked it out. It was like six episodes. I was like, only six? What the fuck? So like, I never really uh watched it. So mm-hmm. when you brought it up, I was like, ah, oh, like. If you bring it up, I know it's got to be decent. I know, you know, so he was, he was like Golden Boy, and I was like, wait, wasn't that? That's when I asked you. I was like, isn't it only like six episodes? And he was like, dude, it's the best six episodes. <laughs> now, I, I then I went and watched it, and I burned. Oh, it's six episodes, bro. We'd be killing twenty-two episode anime in three days. Three <laughs> days. So six episodes. I did that shit in one sitting, quick. And I'm dying, bro. So this dude, <laughs> so, so uh, just you know, this dude, man, like you say, he's big perv, but he's a he's he's even though that's it, you could tell he's a genius, bro. Like how quick he yeah. learned like, language in episode one. Cobbler. The fact that he finished law two finished years two finished. years before he was supposed to done. And then the man didn't even graduate. He was like, "Nah, I still want to learn." Yeah, and just left. That was it. 
graduation pretty much means the uh the end of the that particular educational journey so i guess he just like yeah, i'm out he still got the credits he can always go back and graduate <laughs> yeah he got the degree <laughs> that, that shit's crazy though yeah yeah he does have the degree. but yeah he's a, he's a genius man he, he learned he learned how to swim in two days he learned programming language uh which is with the the blonde hair girl that you can see here. I forget the audio people can't see. How do we describe this? This beautiful blonde hair woman in a red dress. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not a here. Yo. So at the beginning of this thing, he's riding on the streets, headed to his next job, which happens to. All right. He's headed to his next job, and this woman comes around with a Ferrari, <laughs> runs him off, crashes into the track. <laughs> He's, he's like in the trash and stuff and she steps out the car. Now, this is 1990s <laughs> mission. How they drew this woman? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Titties out! <laughs> no, bro. I was like, Yo! No, that, that, that has always been a question of mine. Like, do Japanese purposely don't draw the bras or is it that they don't know how to draw bras? Who cares? <laughs> That's a superficial question, guys. We don't give a fuck. At least, uh, I <laughs> but uh, yeah. So she's yo. He's freaking out. I'm freaking. Out. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> so she pays him, you know, for damages and stuff, and uh, she goes off. So it turns out she ends up being his boss because that's the job he was going to. He's cleaning and stuff, and that's when you first realize that this dude got a weird toilet fetish. fetish. <laughs> man, I don't even know if to call that fetish because he might have got so many. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, like, he is just perv to the max. <laughs> you might adore his women, be like, but yeah, like the, the, this. Um, and the thing is, what really, like, you're watching the anime and you're thinking, like, oh, this this guy's an idiot. Like, he's just working here to be a perv because um, it's all women. Like, yeah, it's all women, this software company. And he's, he's like, doing his job and walking around and and he's taking the- notes. I yeah, never- simply taking no. notes. And then, yeah. Yeah, he's taking notes. So, like, okay, so pretty much what happens at the end, close to the end of episode one, is uh, he's he's cleaning up, he's finishing up for the day, and he sees one of the computers still on, which turns on to the result to be a FTP server. You know, you're not supposed to turn them hoes off. So you <laughs> <turn> off <laughs> and fucking wipe all the people work. And he's like, thing is, right? The man was the man was so persistent about saving everything. I was like, oh, there's not a button. Don't worry, I'll turn off the fuse. And turn off like the entire electricity system. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm looking at the screen like, well, there goes all that information. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, who turned off? She like tries to access her computer, tower reach the server and shit. All the fall, all the stuff is gone. Man, computer. She got a deadline for the next day. Now I think of it, because I work at IT, I glad I ain't like that no more. Whew. Yeah, boy. A lot, you, you, you'll be one of them uh, videos where people just get up and start walling up and coffee. <laughs> and uh, the power went off. No! Anyway, so, uh, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, that's why I quit programming, right? Yeah, I remember. You ranted to me about it for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I ranted to so many people about that. You know, you I'm like, again. Yes! So... <laughs> <laughs> she comes in, she freaks out. He like tells her, "Hey, he, he thinks she's gonna be uh, happy with him for tur- for saving energy." She's straight raging, and this is how we do. This is how this solidified that this dude's super perv, bro. She's beating the shit up this man, and he's and like, "Man is loving it." Like queen, yes, yes, queen, beat me, <laughs> and then she spits, <laughs> and he caught it in his mouth. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, this dude, this dude he's a perv. So she, she fires him. To the max. And it jumped far the week. And they're trying, they're trying to meet this deadline because they have to 
get this program to this America. They try to break into the North American market, right? I think it's, yeah, they try to break into North America. Yeah. And uh, they try to finish this program by deadline. And apparently this company's never missed a deadline. And they can't do it. They got all the coffee, all the work mates. They, and there's an office full of women. <laughs> all the work mates and shit are dying and shit. They're drinking all the coffee, <laughs> trash everywhere. And then, well, you never saw him deliver. She's just like, Madam President, look, check this out. And he brings a, was that this? A floppy desk. Oh, Me, oh, I can't remember what it was called with <laughs> this year, too. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> nah, that was not a USB drive. Oh, crap. <laughs> Ah, a yeah. disc jet, man. Jeez, that, that, that's why you know how old this anime was. Because some of you won't know what we are talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Three and a quarter. Disc jet. So, and it had the entire program. And it also, because during the day while he was interviewing them, not interviewing, he was walking around, he was doing his chores, he was like, ooh, so educational, writing in his notebook. They were all telling them what they were really like the program to do. They want the program to be more friendly to kids. Yada, 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 yada. My boy implement everything that they wanted into the program. In a week? Do you understand how hard it is to program in a week? <laughs> think, yep. people, think from two guys that took program that did programming. That's a no, no. Let, let me give them a story to why I quit programming. So, um... I'm a year ahead of Sean. I'm doing a program. I'm working for the national seaport of our country. And I mean, it was, I ain't gonna lie, it was a great job, great pay. And I was one of the, I, I guess I was one of the best programmers in, in that department. So then we get uh, a request from the hospital. And I'm like, oh, this is, okay, this is cool. So I'm working on this program, working on this program, and the program looked dope. And I compile my program, and it has 1,000, no, 163 errors. 163. <laughs> yeah, it had 163 errors. And I was like, damn. And at this time, we were using, like, a, a, a hard-ass language. We use using C not C++ or anything. This is C, mm -hmm. where, where if anybody knows when you open that little Windows platform and see this black side with a blinking white on the line, that's C. And I was like, damn, like this thing ain't compiling. Like, oh, I can get this work. And so then the deadline comes and the, the hospital's like, yo, where's our, where's our, um, where's our program? You know, we paid you $16,000. Where's our program? And I'm like, look, I got these errors. It works, but the errors make it like freeze. Just give me an extra month. You know, I'll give you about half the money. It's cool. Like, I just want to get this done. I remember I went to you. I went to him. So I went to Sean. I was like, Sean, like, we're getting on here. And Sean was like, I know, boy. And, but Sean, Sean wasn't. At the level that I had learned, yeah, he was he had just started. So I was like, man, they just need fresh eyes. And then I went to our other mutual friend, Jeremy, and, and I was like, dude, I got these. Like, I, I doing this program, it pissed me off. Like, look at it and see if you can do it for me. And I'm sitting there. I I spent weeks, weeks on this program, and I'm sitting there looking at him, and he goes line one, line two. Line three. Oh, you're missing a semicolon here. Cool, I knew. Run it. Works. <laughs> but the thing about it is, is you know, if you miss a semicolon, it pretty much invalidates all the rest of the code. But do ain't quit right after that. <laughs> yep. I handed in that code and they're like, oh, this is really great. It's a really amazing program. We were wondering if you nope, I quit. Done. I quit. <laughs> I have never let that another computer program then. I was like, nope, this is not for me. I am done. <laughs> and I, you know what? I saw it because then um, our other friend, uh, another guy who was doing programming in class, he was really good at it. And he had a mental breakdown. And he was in the mental. I saw him the other day. He was like, yeah, yeah, I just come up with mental, man. And he was smiling. I was like, what happened? He was like, I was doing so much programs and it just won't work. 
So I get and I burn out my office. It's like, what? What? He was like, yeah, I'm doing music now. I was like, what? Ladies Boy, no, nah, you, you, you need to have a strong mind if you're going to do. I mean, it's, it's a lot easier now because I look at JavaScript and Dreamweaver and I'm like, Jesus, where was this? JavaScript. I was like, Java is a bitch. I've done Java. That's the one that I was like, bro, fuck, fuck this program. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Java, bro. Fuck Java. But there's a lot of easier programs out there. I mean, you mm-hmm. just got to be patient no matter what. And don't be afraid to ask for help. You got to ask for help. But uh, yeah, so pretty. And, and, and imagine that story. He was asking for a month extra to finish. This dude did this whole program working fine. Did all the the. Uh, GUI, graphical interface, everything in a week, bro. And then disappeared. <laughs> so the thing about this dude, he handles the situation, whatever it is, he, he perves out, solves the situation, and then he disappears. Like, like they, get, they never find him at the end. He never comes back. <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs> Which is in a different location. So the, the Madam Chick is, where is he? And apart, and then there was a situation early in the show where the Yakuza show up to this old man that fixed his bike shop. And yeah, money. so the woman had gave him ten thousand yen. I think it was U.S. dollars. Yeah, so she gave him ten ten thousand dollars. God damn, she gave him ten thousand dollars when she hit it. Well, uh, then she almost hit him in the alley, and he took that ten thousand, gave it to the old man so they could give it to the Yakuza. And she was like, oh, you spent it on per, per, uh, porn and women and blah, blah. Yeah, but he did it. He then, gave it yeah, to he the, gave it to the, to, to the old they couple. Trying, they were trying to find him. My boy gone. So no one knows where this dude's at. And then it, the next episode picks him up in a new new location. But yeah. I just say this that I'll say to all this perversion <laughs> and the jokes, you realize the under, underlining theme is that this dude's a genius, bro. Like, genius. Yep. And he's just going around. So that was episode one. We pretty much taught the whole one. So yes. the second lady was this crazy bitch. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Listen here, bro. <laughs> this, woman, this woman here, bro. Super level. Super leveling scene. You know what? That was that was hard to watch because ain't she a high school student? Nah, college. She was in college, okay. Yeah, she was in college. It was like one of them um bursary colleges. Okay. So, like convent. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, that's what it reminded me of. Convent. I was like <sighs> convent. I haven't heard that shit in years. <laughs> B, oh man. Anyway, so <sighs> for this girl, man, so she's the daughter of this very powerful politician. Uh, he, this dude, he pretty much corrupt. You know, it pays off everybody for votes because it was a, a it was a campaign season, so he was working on the campaign, and he also volunteered to uh, like help clean up the house, her, her the estate, right? And they end up tutoring her. Literally because he saw her and thought she was beautiful. I'll yeah. clean your house. Wait, that was it. That was a freak. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. So he volunteered at this wood. So like he's in the back. He does his toilet thing. Just just a running theme. He does it at the, end, at the beginning of everything. <laughs> Ooh, Every toilet he could find. Love starts loving on the toilet because he thinks that she sat on it, and uh, she walks in on him, and he always gets caught. That's a, that's the other thing. He always gets caught. Mm-hmm. So she walks in on him, and she's acting all innocent and stuff. <laughs> Takes him to the room to dry his head off, and uh, she starts stripping in front of him. <laughs> He's freaking the fuck out. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> He's freaking Listen, out. I thought he was gonna pop a vessel beat. Yo, I thought so too. <laughs> this girl really did gullible. Like, what the hell? Uh, her name is uh. Katsuda. Oh yeah. Now, I'll be honest, B. This is the one anime that I don't know anyone's name except Kintaro. <laughs> <laughs> I always got my stuff. I always prep. 
I don't remember names when I do when you remember names. So imagine this. <laughs> I was too distracted. <laughs> oh, this girl, and then it like switched. She was like talking to herself. He is my plaything now. <laughs> yeah, she turned out she turned out to be a a Sealis. No, yeah. that's not Sealis. Sealis oh. is physical. Um, is she is she a dominatrix? No. Nah, dominatrix is rough physical. Either way, she likes to play. Um, she gets she gets turned on by <laughs> my by um submission. That's it. She tease. <laughs> yeah. That's what she is. <laughs> she fucking she tease. Dude, the whole she gets turned on by teasing man. She like went to she went to school. She didn't have no bra or panties on. She like saw up across the street. <laughs> she, she grabbed the dude. And, Felt, pretend she fell. Somehow put oh. it in his hands. And, <laughs> right in his hands. and then she took his hand, put it on the booty. He starts freaking out again. <laughs> She's like, look at him. <laughs> she just does this. Yes, I have him on the right hand, Joe. So, I, I, I loved it. I loved it. Like, man, she really dogging this dude. And the guy's also talking about the election and stuff. And, uh, and then, uh, yo, so he, she, she f- realizes that he always uses his notebook so she, as a journal. So she she steals the notebook from him. When he was tutoring her, she takes it from his back. Yeah. And she, she's like expecting him to read. She expected to read something about her that's like... Oh, yeah. oh, oh he's all in fact with her. Nah, and I'm the man saw... Through that shit, bro. <laughs> so in the notebook... In the notebook, right, is... Uh, it, it, it says, oh, I don't know why she keeps doing this. It's probably a daddy issue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't get love from him, so I will save her with my love. Listen, yeah. I don't know how corrupt, like, that's so perverted to be. You have a daddy issue. I will save you with my love. <laughs> I'll be there for her. <sighs> Yeah, like, you know, and uh, once she fought, figured that out, she tried to set him up. Yeah, that was a whole ass move. She like cut up all her clothes. That, that's part screamed. of the She cut up all her clothes, give him the scissors, and then screamed. And her dad came down there with all the boys from the Yakuza. <laughs> Come back. So he, he, so I'm like, oh, he fucked up now. And uh, she's like, oh, he tried it, blah, 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 blah. Dad's freaking out. So he grabs her and kisses her. And then says, yeah, I got something to tell you guys. I love your daughter. And then my boy. <laughs> the, 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 no, I, I, I will take responsibility. Yeah, the politician was like, give him the business. <laughs> or is it give him the business or give him the work? Him. <laughs> that boy beat that boy so bad. Come back. Yo, <laughs> that shit was borderline ridiculous. So. <laughs> and then she was like, "Why isn't he begging for his life? Does he really love me?" It's like she, but that's she some backward not- logic, though. Huh? That's some backward logic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can already tell that she doesn't really think like a normal person. So, yeah, she, she, she is so shit about her and her friend. Oh her and we're going to tell you how we figured that out officially for the it, it kind of explain it kind of says it at the last episode yeah when everything comes together but uh so yeah so he, she eventually stops and he's like I wish you had came sooner because at this point he's bludgeoned all right then he can't see my eyes <laughs> I was like I wish you made that decision way sooner man <laughs> No, but like, but he earned the Yakuza respect though, and and he was able to like call on them for a lot of stuff. Yeah, but it, that ass whooping was still epic though. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think what, what was the next? The next episode was the Flower Girl, or was the next episode the? Uh... Man, it don't matter. There's only two more episodes we need to talk about that matters. That swimmer. That motorcycle girl. Which one you want to hit first? <laughs> well, the reason I brought up the uh, the flower girls for two things. One, when it was at the racetrack and the dude kept trying to seduce the girl. <laughs> he kept Yo, up. 
I did not feel it so good today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, dude. Right. Uh, and then he was like, dead. He's like, don't talk to me. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he was like, all what? He was like, I, 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 yo, even though I watch it, I forgot about that. Yo, I didn't, I didn't like that story. But it was that, and also, like, the ass whooping. <laughs> at the end, the dude was about to beat his ass. And he's like, that was uh, almost a month full of work. And my boy, uh, Intaro beat the shit out that guy. And there's the first nah. <laughs> he could fight. <laughs> yeah, he finally looked at the black belt. He can't go. I was like, so he can whoop anybody ass if he wants to, but he doesn't. <laughs> oh man! I can't believe I have to use my Kempo in a in a in a in a, in a on sanctuary way. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was that one episode was man. Bad. Go, go, boy it was jokes. Oh my gosh! It, it, if you guys ever get to watch it, man, like it's on. Um, I watch it on. It's on Crunchyroll. Uh, yeah, it's on Crunchyroll. I don't think it's on Funimation. Are you? Oh. Funimation is not gonna. <laughs> Funimation is not gonna take that risk. Pretty much. Um. So the swimming episode, which is Dwayne's favorite episode, bro. Like, you should see all this dude swim. She's like, let's. It's, see a, it's a tie between this and the motorcycle because I I like the chase scene in the motorcycle, but yeah, oh. the swimming episode. Study, study, study. Study. <laughs> <laughs> That episode that, I, that cannot be explained. Um, but the swimming one was funny when he had a. He, she, he was like, she was like, okay, show me what you can do. And he like gets on the board, he jumps in. If you, if you catch me, <laughs> and he jumps in. And, but not yeah, I talked about the first time he was. He couldn't swim yet. He learned to swim after. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You swim on the feet, oh. me. <laughs> on the I ain't Listen. never seen no shit like that in my life. <laughs> This man drove three times. Got the thing is, he was in the pool that he could stand up. Yeah. Got back up, trained again, and <laughs> drove one more time. That? And yeah, again, he, look at she. He got him. How, was- how did you take that dude? <laughs> he didn't get past his springboard. <laughs> yeah, like he, he got up. He was, was- he got up and started coughing, and then he went back in the water like he <laughs> He went back in. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is that he drove in the same place four times, and then, like he, the, like when you see when you see the episode, he is paddling and kicking for dear life. And this one, like even some people would move. This man, this man was just going down all the way down in a kiddie pool, yo. And then he went. <laughs> So how did you think I did? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this motherfucker serious. What the hell? <laughs> I don't believe it. I was like, yo, this dude really got up at like nothing ain't happened. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so pretty much like, this episode. He- Even the my entrance was good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He dived in that pool like he was a professional. But that was it. <laughs> he died all the way to the end. And uh, pretty much, he was just he became a he became a teacher at this uh, school and stuff. He, he he challenged the main woman, which was all lipid swimmer. Yeah, <laughs> two times two hundred meter gold medals. Yeah, and that is insane. So pretty much, he had to learn to swim. So fast forward, he's in the pool again swimming, and she shows us she's like, "If you could keep it with me, yada yada yada," and win. Dude. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this, look, all right. So, so for Sean, for Sean, Sean, Sean realized the max, the the maximum perviness of this dude with his spit. For me, it was this episode. They both jump in the water. So obviously, she's better than him by a mile. Like, and he's swimming right, and he's at his maximum, and he's like, "Yo, I can't keep it with this woman." No. What I liked about this scene is that it actually, like, you could tell the animators or, or the, the, the writers actually did their research. Because every time you learn to swim, when you first start out, you always look down. You don't look ahead. 
So then he was like, oh yeah, they tell me to look ahead. My boy looks ahead and sees the, the swimming instructor in all of her glory. The mom was like, what? My queen is a friend of me. I must catch her. Yeah. And out of nowhere, all you see is the woman behind, just getting closer and closer. And he's like, wait, what? And then you hear, Burr! and this is my drone. And the mom's like, no, my beast will carry me through. <laughs> and the man swim all the way into her butt. And yeah. suck it all out. <laughs> Dry it off, man. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's keeping up. I'm impressed. Swim straight up in the tube. <laughs> <laughs> so so pretty much after that she's like oh my god he's like i'm so sorry blah 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 and the, what gave him away is he got out the pool oh boy. <laughs> she's like, and it was out it was out so, you know you like, got the mosquito on the way on that there wasn't there wasn't any height in this <laughs> like, what, what are you thinking about wakes up in the center of the pool and i was like the beast of your swimming has awakened my beast. <laughs> Listen, she beat the crap out of him. He was like, yes! Yes! And then, and then he get knocked out. <laughs> he passed out. So uh, he wakes up and stuff, he leaves. And then uh, what was happening is that she was, because she was an Olympic swimmer, she had everyone teaching the kids like if they were already Olympic swimmers, so they were like the training was harsh. Kids were falling out and shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so pretty much what he fixed in the end is he gave he showed everyone the method to make the kids not afraid of the water because before they were just taking the kids and dunking them. <laughs> yeah, you want this water? Dunk them in the water. <laughs> so they were like holding rings under the water. The kid would keep their eyes open. Blah blah blah, all that good stuff. So that's what they fixed. They fixed the training technique. And stuff and then they had they had more olympic swimmers because of it yeah they had a lot more swimmers like one of the kids came and was like where's where's the taro yeah where's it's shot to kintaro so she, so he wanted to bat and stuff but he never obviously he didn't stick around to be a uh wasn't there he was, there. He was gone like the and then he met this beauty yo on the bmo six thousand baby Listen. <laughs> I was not ready for this episode because right off the bat, I know if you had told me that you didn't watch it, I was like, bro, let me know when you get to episode five. <laughs> the gas station, dog. Is she drinking that drink? Look, the, I, I, don't, I don't know what was funny. His face or the commentary? Yes. <laughs> let me be the seat of your motorcycle. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> The market will finish the brooms, be <laughs> so just you know, start off the side. this woman straight up the on the revs on the motorcycle is pretty much masturbating. That's that's pretty much she was doing <laughs> on the on the revs because she kept revving the motorcycle. And what was killing us was the commentary dog, he was screaming in the back. <laughs> oh <my God>. yes. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't keep it. Oh, no. okay. And he's like, whoa. So he stopped her. So he ends up working for this uh thing where she's at. Uh what was it again? Um a monastery. Was it? Or yeah, places where monks are. And he found the toilet. Probably. <laughs> that that I am glad they changed it up. Rather than him getting catch by her. They might get kept by a woman grandmother be. And he almost like, um, can't tell me we're gonna have to let you go. He was like, Why? I've worked really hard here. I've done everything I'm supposed to do. Uh-huh. Now think about what you've done for the last four days. Oh um, yeah, so that's why we're gonna have to let you go. Yeah, that right. boy perved out on that toilet seat, B. So he was like waiting outside, and then she she comes out, and gets in the taxi, he follows her to where she had her motorcycle parked, and she is in there having the time of her life. And, she, and he started commentating again. <laughs> he was like, "Yes, I found my angel." She challenged him to a race because she was saying that she don't like dudes. Uh, yeah, they could never. Um, they could never live up to the motorcycle. Yeah, they could, ah, that was, I was like, "Whoa, okay." Hey, man, I saw this show on TV. 
Uh, I'll tell you back, bro. They, they, uh, the dude. One, there was a dude on there that liked his car. Like, liked his car. Oh, you mean like um, <laughs> Paralyzed <Lace> PD? <laughs> <laughs> that man banged Carla until she was dead. But no, nah, it, it, yeah, I, I've seen documentaries of it as well too. Yeah. Like, there's there's a woman who she can't have an orgasm unless she rub her stuff on the old tree. So she's just walking the forest. <laughs> Rubbing on trees. It's weird. It's weird, be but hey, I mean but, everybody got the kinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't hating nobody. So they cha- so he he challenged her to a race on his bicycle versus her motorcycle. Don't don't No, that. she she challenged him. She challenged him right? But I'm just saying she was like I'll, 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 if you catch me, I'll let you do whatever you want. He yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> like I you know what? If there's any positive thing that you can learn from this anime. Is that always be confident and believe in yourself? Because, <laughs> yo, yes, that's one. I, all I know is that he defy all laws of physics. <laughs> Come on, listen. That dude was man, on the power line. <laughs> that dude fell. Be, <laughs> nah, before that, be when the man was like, "Yo, she going down the hill," and all right, I can write, I can write down the well system. I was like, "Yeah." Me, when he, you see me, my hit our first bump. <laughs> when my hit the first bump, me, I was like, "Yo, this is crazy!" Like, it it can't be that rough, me. Like, but then you know what? What I um, cause after, cause I had, I I had to look at the manga, um, when I rewatched it, and the reason why he is so pervy is because in his quest to learn, he made a sabbatical that he wouldn't have sex or masturbate anymore. Because he, he, he was a fly boy in college. So then it was all building up, building up, B. So this episode, jeez, right. was it? yes. But look, as you say, that Pauline, study, 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 study. He hooked onto the back of a car that was chasing the woman. <laughs> and then the dude stopped. Use it as a ramp. All the way. Can tear a rope away. Why use the belt? That's what happened here. Why use his belt? Ugh. And look, you, uh, the animation, man. The fact that they didn't just let him swing up. Like, they might actually use the strength. Pull yourself up. Yes. Stick out your neck. Mm. Study, 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 study. And then, like, down to the end, so they're going down to this corner. So it's a pretty much a ninety degree turn. And then, if you go straight, it's a a destroyed bridge. And he's just he's beaming, bro. Study, 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 study. My yeah, Carol Carter's hands and knees. Yo, he was doing that. Right, that's insane. <laughs> he was up more more the cross curves on a bicycle. Down to the end. And the woman's like, let's do this. Yes, yes. But she chickened out. Yeah. My boy. No, you saw Kintaro. Study. I believe I can fly. <laughs> but then he crashed. I was like, oh, God. So she think he's dead. And then I like, Everybody think he's dead. <laughs> I think he's that dead. was a drop. Me. <laughs> dead, bro. In real life, you know he dead. Uh, uh, that bike was wrecked, at least. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you just look and you just saw the bike riding into the fucking on the, on the study, 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 study. and she's like no come back claim your prize you know he gone oh my god so and then uh comes out all that leads up to the final episode um it turns out to just to be uh it's about an animation studio oh perfect perfect and this episode is pretty strong like all like all the Usual jokes and perv stuff are fine. Yeah. Uh, like the reasoning for why people like anime and why animation is so important is uh, mm-hmm. it's pretty much explained in this episode. Do you want to tell the bitch about it? Yeah, man. Um, so he's 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 working in an animation studio. Um, and he actually got gets a pretty high up role. Like he's the animating administrator. So he collects all the parts for the illustrators, 
and the the painters and the director and all that stuff and he basically aligns it that it creates the show but when doing it with that role it also means that you, at that time you had to travel back and forth Poor between dude. between everybody because the the illustrators used to work in the office the directors used to work in their own home office and the painters obviously used to work at factories um which was surprising to me i never actually knew that um so he's working 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 and obviously he's doing his normal thing like oh this is really educational and everyone's teaching him everyone's welcoming him and stuff and he gets and and the thing is it was so funny he he gets in a drawing scribble with one of the animators because he was like, yo, you could draw party. He was like, yeah, we do all this kind of stuff. Oh, and then men start, men start doing triple boob women and all sorts of jokes. Like, and it, it, it was probably the first place that I accepted his performance <laughs> because it worked out for him. Um, yeah, man. So that's funny because the guy's like, you really know your boobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud about it. Uh, so so it it all comes down to they need to meet a deadline and the production manager he's like yo if we work all night we can do it uh sir the director was just hit by a car no that shit uh, came in <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo that was so wrong dude uh we we can he do had a great speech uh Sir, the product, the sir, the director got hit by a car. What the f get, like? What? Like that shit was so. Gives up. He's in the hospital. Gives up, man. Many hospital arms in the air. He was like, "Fuck, man, it's over." Uh, <laughs> it's hard deadline. The, the woman, I guess, the agent or whatever for the for the animation company, carrying him a new ass. And my boy came in. He's like, "Don't give up, guys. We could do this." He starts calling in all the favors, bro. <laughs> he yep. called. He calls all the girls. Call, and, uh, I see you get the second lady that uh, the politician's daughter was a sociopath. The reason we see yes. that, he said, like, "Oh, I know some people that are really, really good at pretending." <laughs> <laughs> he brings the girl and her and her friend. And when I get them to come in for voiceovers, <laughs> hi, we're here. Oh, and then uh, he has the computer lady do the. The graphics for the for the animation. The animation. Um, the 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 noodles girl, which is the really good girl with the flowers. The flower girl, yeah. Cooks for them so they don't have to leave, and they get proper nutrition because they were eating like shit. Um, Bento noodles, man. No, the motorcycle woman. She delivered the stuff in between using her motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually fun. She to still see. had that hat. Yeah, it was it was great to see everybody working together and, and how all of his oh then they had that's kid. another thing his kindness yeah his, his kindness and humility you know created a lot of friendships that he could really turn to they made up for his perversions bro <laughs> yeah <laughs> so at the end they got it done they showed the screening everyone's like oh my god yeah so it all worked out and then before the screening was gone everyone around was like where's his Risking Taro. Go on. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 my boy. Oh, my boy gone, man. And uh, that's pretty much six episodes. Yeah. We, we almost talked a whole hour for this, bro. It was that good. So, <sighs> all right. Let my leg bleed. <laughs> <laughs> this, is like, this is like the opposite. All right. So, I'm going to bring it back. And we're back to regular screens. That was fun. Uh, so you want to do your, uh, you want to do your, I mean, your ratings. I mean, I, I already know what it's gonna be. But. Oh, I think everyone knows. Five to say five across the board, like you know, five you know. across the board, like it's a golden star. It it gets the no no country from a tacos trophy. Yay! Hey, yo, I need a point back for that. <laughs> <laughs> it has to no country for otakas stamp of approval badass <laughs> um, man that was that was a good watch man. I believe it's only six episodes I was actually like pretty mad it was only six but then I looked back I was like I think six was good hmm it, it, it ended in a way that the story was complete 
you know, you felt fulfilled. It was it was great, man. I think everybody who's doing animations with these six episodes and ten episodes should learn. <laughs> episodes anymore, man. They usually just cut at twelve now, because a lot of OVAs don't really happen. Yeah. So the thing about this anime is this style of anime is not made anymore. To be to be real with you, uh, the way it's, the way it's written, uh, I think it was a little, it's a little too. It won't it won't be able to go on TV and stuff like they want to. So nope. You, you know I mean, I mean, you probably find a hentai or some shit <laughs> where it goes. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, five across the boards, guys. Fun watch six episodes. You could knock that out of your sleep. Shit, ain't gonna take up much of your time. Go have a good laugh. Uh, don't show your kids. Don't show your kids. Don't show your kids. Definitely don't show the kids like that. No, That's... 18 plus, 18 plus for this one. Um, 18? Nah, bro. <laughs> but some people still innocent then. The legal age is 18, 18 plus. Let's say Barbados, which is 16. But anyway, so. Um, Holy crap. That explains a lot. Yeah, it, I think the age of the consent Barbados is 16. But anyway, huh. that's either here or there. Uh, yeah, five across the boards, guys. Go ahead and have a good time with this one. Um, it's a good watch, man. I watched it yesterday. So it'll be fresh. Did you? So be fresh in the mind. I, I watched it Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Well, the thing is, I watched some other anime too this week. Um, I, I finished One Punch Man season two. What do uh, you think? Because we, 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 we don't do popular anime, we do the taboo and non standardized stuff, so we could afford to rant shit. <laughs> One Punch Man two, season two. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, he was hardly in it. Was it really One Punch Man? Or was it heroes and the guy that peels people one punch? <laughs> but uh, so he was hard. Yeah, it was more about the environment that he created. Yeah, and it was more he... about the people around him. I mean, he, he showed up at the end and like just looked badass for that when he punched that one thing. But uh, it was mainly about everybody else. And I kind of understand because you don't really get ever do ends a fight with one punch. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much? Thing you really do, so you got to kind of incorporate all the secondary characters, yeah. fight scenes, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, so much like which, is, which is why, um, no, go ahead, finish off. Um, I was just saying that it probably just I, I, I get why the second season was like that, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't hate it, it wasn't like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? I just, I, I, I get it. I was, I was, I was entertained, but I'm, I'm pretty easily entertained, so. <laughs> and, uh, the other one I watched was Do Do Dororo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't, haven't, I haven't started that yet. So I'm, I'm gonna start that this week. That's good with two blades, right? Huh? That's yeah. good with two blades. Well, yeah, yeah, he has two blades uh, for arms. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I'm right. um, I'm gonna watch the latest one. Are you watching the old one? I'm gonna watch the latest one. The old ones is a little too old. It's a little too old. Dude, it's a little too old. Like the anime. For, for yeah, episodes. No, it's not length or anything. It's just the the anime. I, I can't watch it. The animation style was probably just a little. It was just too far back. You Man, know, if we talk, if yeah, we talk to Fist in our star kind of style, that's that's me, boy. No, Gee. not first of uh, all. How how far are we talking? Old, bro. What year? I don't know. It's old. Like I, I think after I saw, I was like, because I watched the old, the new one first, and then I was like, oh, there's an old one, and the old one's only like twenty five episodes. And I started, I like put on episode one. I was like, whoa. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look for both because I, I know the, the latest one is on um Amazon, so I'll watch that. Amazon. Mm. Yeah. Well, ah, that's cool. But yeah, that um yeah, season two, season two, huh? 68. 68. Oh, geez. I know what kind of anime that is. Um, uh, like Cash Air Sins. Ugh. Yeah. So, something like that. Cash Air was a little better. Like animation stuff. All right. We're going to share the screen real quick so you could, uh, so you could witness this shit. 
So if you look at this animation style, this is this is how pretty much how it looks. Ooh, traditional two D frame rate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, it was in black and white and everything. For the style reasons, if you want to knock it out, it's cool. I I just why do that when you could just watch the hairstyle is a lot better. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Close the door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, mm, yeah. I'll watch the latest one. <laughs> Twenty-four episodes as quick as only one season. It wraps up. Uh, it's okay. It's pretty cool. Fair enough. Yeah, the second season of One Punch Man. Um, that. And Superman Unchained actually is what gave me the inspiration of a comic idea I had. Whereas, like, because I was asking, like, what's the point? Like, no one needs to know that you're a superhero. So what if, what if you had an environment where there was this superhero who was saving people and stuff like that, but no one knew who he was? Like, you would never see him. Like, cars would be about to crash. Boom, it stopped. And you're just like, man, like what's going on there? Like, so I was going on the angle of people will probably create like a religion, like and a lot of philosoph- philosophical terms. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to do that comic years, years down the line. <laughs> um so, talking about comics, so my boy here. Hi, that's me. Off the studio. You know, uh, good times. Go ahead. Yeah. Here it is. It's been an interesting. And uh, he has a YouTube channel. So, you, know, you want, you could go ahead. Be sure and... to subscribe. It's called. Uh, doo, doo, doo. I'm not going to call that name. Was it pronounced? Kurigu? Kurigu. Kurigu Studios. And uh, I, I know we always talk about it, but check this shit out, guys. I think it's. I think. I think I could get away with it. No, if you're a nineties baby, nineties two thousand baby. Oh, it's buffering. What the fuck? <laughs> like, you no. scream it too much. <laughs> you remember Johnny Quest? <laughs> I can't believe he got. I can't believe you did this. Bro. This is funny. <laughs> Man, um, that's uh, Will Farrell and uh, Christopher Walken when they were saying more cowbell. Oh. And that's Jackie Chan. Kobe! Oh, yeah, you gotta have the Kobe. This intro so far. So I hope that that just shit don't get me in trouble. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, nah. so following, I'm gonna put the information to the channel in the description. So yep. on YouTube and on Anchor, because you could look at the uh, su- summary there. And uh yeah, just give it a watch. Uh he's gonna put out some good content, a little more different than this, not us uh, shooting the shit. Um <laughs> about animes yeah. uh but uh so if, if, if you want to know what uh creative studios is about um literally it started because one night um i got two kids as you probably know if you've been following us because they always run in and make noise but um i got two sons and one night I, me and my wife was doing what every parent does what if this happened so we hit the, um, I think some of the funniest ones we had was, what if they come home with a girl pregnant? And I was like, Ugh. no, she's English um, and I'm Barbadian, so the Caribbean style, England style. Caribbean style, you probably get a rumble across your head. 
yeah, I can't really adopt that. I don't want to. So, you know, we were talking about it and stuff, and then he was like, what if he decides that Quidditch is an actual sport? And I was like, yo, I'm not doing this shit. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't think it because, you know, we live in an era where a lot of people are influenced by the content that we watch on social media. It's the, it's the information area. It, you can get it from anywhere. Right. So I was like, man, like, let it be right if I, yeah, let it be right or wrong. Um, and for me, I lost my dad in an electrical explosion. Daddy, so there was, can we have too many kids on top of the fridge? So there was a lot. All right, go. I'm going to get it. Sorry. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to ask my dad that I wasn't able to. So when I thought about that and just how all my kids would be looking at YouTube for certain things, I was like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't mind if they do that, but I want them to hear it from daddy's mouth first. Like I, I, I even if I'm gone, I still want to be that, that guy that influences, um, my kids and, and teach them how to be chivalrous men that you can be proud of to, to be to have as a friend and so so that actually spurred me writing my book uh, small sets big and pat which, where i talk about um me trying to get my uh, university degree whilst being homeless and battling with clinical depression uh, you can check it out if you want it's on amazon and I was just so taken back by, by all the comments and stuff from, from different men who reached out to me. I was like, yo, this was inspiring. You know, it was real. It was honest. It was some things that, you know, I thought I had to keep to myself. But to hear how you've dealt with it and how you're now confident in talking about it and that it's not a bad thing, you know, it's inspired us to do a lot more. And I hear. Huh? We need that here with a lot of veterans. Yeah, man. I um, the, the something I I had an idea for for, for army people as well, um, but I think it was more like a documentary kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so 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 from that, I was like, yo, there's so many people, so many so many young men that that need this kind of content and information. And all my friends, Sean included, always telling me, yo, the stuff you go through and how positive you are and just stuff that you do so inspiring, the way you fight. I was like, man, why just keep it to my friends? Let me try to share it with anyone and everyone. And thus, the studio was born, you know? So the main focus is anime and comics because we love that stuff. But I was just speaking to my to my um, friend today who's going to help me with video editing. We got the same stuff that you just saw with Remember Great, where we focus on icons that I have looked up to in, when I was young and trying to be a professional athlete and just the lessons that I learned from them. I actually put a story in there, like that to Pat's story. I actually put a story in there when you, um, when you cuss out that guy on the court and you start singing Hail Mary to him. But then I was like, yo, that was a bit too personal. <laughs> So I had to edit out that stuff, okay, well, uh, but no, it's 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 gonna be great, man. It's gonna be great. Cause like we sat down, we looked at everything today, and we was like, bro, we got thirty years of work, like to do documentaries, comments, books, um, the animation. We ain't too sure how we get to do, cause it bro, them forty grand per minute. Is it really per minute? Well, at least this one studio. And then obviously we got the whole controversy thing with Black Sands where they want to control 80% of my story. If you're not with Black Sands, why would they do that? I, I, I don't get it. So they, they, they take 80% of the story and give me 20% of the, oh, oh, you the, mean, the story you license. Me? If you had signed with I them. Need to put yeah. Hey then, quiet man. Uh, yeah, so one of us gotta have. Huh? One of us have. I know.
Yeah. It's funny. That's yeah. Funny. <laughs> I know, right? I'm just singing a bunch of nonsense. So that's it, man. So um, if you if you want to check this out, check this out. Like I said, we'll put the stuff in the description. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what kind of stuff you want to see. Let me know what you think of the videos, the concepts, and yeah. Okay. All right. Great stuff. Great stuff. Uh. I still use real stuff. I still play games. I, I try to stream a lot more on Twitch now, game wise. Like last night, I did like three hours. Like, but sometimes, when yeah, you, I, I saw that. I, did, I work, didn't get through it. The problem is, the problem is, is uh, when you watch, when you work at IT and you look at a computer screen all day, to get off and play, sitting on, look at a computer screen to play games, sometimes, man, I just be like, fuck this, bro. I don't feel like. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to turn the TV on, put it on some random shit, and just try to sleep. Even though I can't really sleep that well, but try to sleep mm-hmm. or at least relax. So that's why my streaming isn't really that good. And just sitting there with a something the screen recording is also like, even though we're doing it right now, but I'm with somebody. Like if you listen to my solo episode, that one solo episode, that beginning part, man, I was just like. Bro, I want to just turn this camera off right now. Just, <laughs> we needed to get that. Episode, so. But anyway, so we're going to call it a day. You know, uh, be sure to check us out on Anchor. Uh, FM. And YouTube. And YouTube, for sure. YouTube for the visuals, Anchor for the audio, if you want to listen to it while driving to work or some shit. Um, all the stuff will be in the description. Before to check, be sure to check that out. And before we go, you know, because it's Saturday. Hey, 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 hey! You get the song, huh? And you need to give me that song. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got you. All right, guys. As always, stay safe out there. Peace. Have a good day.